Um, I'm Julia Orman, and you're watching New You. How does it feel to be here at the Creative Coalition Spotlight Gala? Um, it's really, uh, it's really great. I think that um, we need independent film to be celebrated, and I also think that the social impact that sharing our stories can have and understanding each other's perspectives on a completely different level is is something that independent independent film mm -hmm. um, in particular can give us in a way that you know maybe other stuff that has to be more commercial it seeks to be more commercial is more challenged over and you have a film premiering here with yes. Peter Dinklage can you tell us about it uh, the film is called Rememory and it's about a character who um, it's about a scientist who invents a machine that takes you back into your literal memory. Um, and Peter plays this character who the scientist at some point has saved his life. Uh, and so he, uh, uh, the scientist, dies mysteriously uh, early on in the film. And it's really an exploration of the human relationship to technology and morality around technology. How do we, as more and more technology is part of our lives, what is the sort of moral debate around it and can you completely take the human experience out of it? Um, and can, you know, how technology could be used for good. Wow, sounds fascinating. Well, I'm just saying, very pertinent to the times. Technology dominates yeah. so much of, of yeah. everyone's everyday life. Yeah. So it's very, very pertinent. Now, lastly, we focus a lot on health at New You. Do you have health advice that you would give your younger fans or your younger self? Oh my God, only stuff to, I mean, don't just, yeah, don't look at me. <laughs> so that's an sort of example. Um, you know, I think sleep, water, vegetables, yeah. all the good stuff. Um, exercise, yeah. all that good stuff that I feel someone challenged about as, you know, you enter into a busy life. But yeah. I think, you know, sort of, I keep recommitting to, yeah, I got to do better on that one. <laughs> Your skin looks amazing. What do you do to take care of it? Like, do you wear sunscreen? You know, like, just basically. I, I do, but... Um, I think on a day-to-day -day basis, I think most people when they see you in a professional context, they see you made up and they see all the makeup and the hair and the, um, I call it the car respray, the old banger goes in and it's like a car respray in terms of the special effects. I have zero skill set on my own for putting on makeup because most of my professional career other people are doing it. Um, but I, in my day-to-day -day life, I don't really wear makeup. And I think that kind of gives your, gives your skin a bit of a break. Thank you.